Okay, so now we move on to uh, Miles Day from Quest. Hi, everyone. Thank you for um, allowing me to join today. Um, really you, appreciate it. Um, we've had a long relationship with the AVA um, and Quest actually specialise in providing support services for associations. So bear with me while I just share what you get as part of your membership. So, can everybody see that? We can. Do you want to just do the presentation mode, Miles? Oh, I thought I'd done it. There you go. Thank you. There you go. So, a bit of a background on Quest. We've been operating for over 20 years. We're a HR and health and safety specialist that also provide legal, tax and VAT advice as part of our um support service to associations um we support over 100,000 SMEs we we specialize in giving um accurate um professional advice um on an unlimited basis um to any member who needs us um like to think that maybe you contact us over things that aren't an emergency but invariably it tends to be that that's what we do um, we also provide support services that sit outside of what, you, what your association provide um, and also consultancy services as well. So we, we, we can provide a full range of support to you as much or as little as you need. Um, that really is the Quest premise and the Quest promise really is that we will always be there to support you for as much or as little as you need in these, these key areas of running any business um, at some point most businesses need us and most businesses if you remember you've got us you'll, you'll probably get in touch at some point so i'll go into more detail about what you get as part of the service um probably the first part of the service um is the compliance review um i know some of the ava members have had it i've actually carried them out um but it's a meeting with a business support manager and it's where we look at where you're at from a hr and health and safety point of view You've got the voice line support, you've got document library support, very reactionary. So you've got a problem, somebody comes to you with a grievance, pick the phone up, speak to the advice line. You need a document, out of need, need a risk assessment, dive into the health and safety library. Need a subcontractor agreement, dive into the legal library. All fantastic, all very reactionary, all dealing with issues that you've, you've currently got going on. We brought the one-to-one um, -one compliance review in about three years ago, um, just so that businesses understand what their responsibilities are in these two key areas. It's very, very difficult to know everything. You, you, you specialists in your areas, very difficult to know everything about everything. And, and in essence, sometimes you can fall foul because you're not where you need to be. And that's what we do in the compliance review. We have a look at where you are currently and where you need to be. Um, after the compliance review, we'll have a look if we can help. If we can help, absolutely. And it's discounted because of your AVA membership. It might be that you need contracts and handbook update. Um, hasn't been done in a fair few years. We've got lots of new exciting legislation. Did I say exciting? We've got lots of new exciting HR legislation coming in over the next two years. Um, we've just had some recent sexual harassment uh, legislation come into play. If you don't know about it, this is a great time to sort of have a look at what your responsibilities are, how they've changed. And that's in essence what we do on the audit. We can also support you with creating these documents. It might be need a health and safety audit. These are the kind of areas which, if flagged and, and come out in, in, in the one-to-one -one review, we can help. If we can't help, invariably, we can signpost you to somewhere. So we have a, a partner for employee assistance programme. We have, have a partner for occupational health. So there's lots of ways that we can help. But in essence, the first phase of any any use of us, we'd like to think is with you one to one. And if you haven't had your one to one yet, please contact me. My details are at the end. Um, but what do you get as part of your membership? So you get five advice lines, HR, health and safety, legal, tax and VAT. You also get three document libraries with over 700 HR, health and safety and legal documents. Um, 
very, very experienced team, very, very good people. Um, if we start with tax and VAT, everybody says I've got my own, I've got my own accountant. That's absolutely fine. Totally appreciate that. We would never claim to be the replacement for your accountant. These guys advise accountants when they are dealing with a difficult issue in their, their tax advisory service. You have direct access to them. What I'd say to you is if you want to sense test what your accountants told you, um, or you see a scheme maybe online, or, or you hear about a scheme that might benefit your business, um, R&D, for example, very uh, an awful lot of R&D um, is being pushed at businesses. Have you thought about, you know, <clears throat> the tax benefits of R&D and you want to think, have a chat with somebody that isn't your accountant, these guys are, are, are great to speak to. Um, you've also got the uh, legal library, uh, sorry, the legal advice line. Um, what does it primarily get used for? Chasing money's owed. Um, it can be contract disputes. Um, any kind of business legal matter, um, it's a great first point of call. Before you spend money with a solicitor and the clock goes on, that's exactly what it's there for. Pick up the phone. Um, we're getting an awful lot of calls for, about insurance. Um, so, you know, where people have, are looking to make insurance claims and now finding that they're not covered or that they thought they were covered and they're not. You can have, have a conversation with the guys about that. And we, we had a call the other day about trees that were hang, overhanging a company's car park and vehicles <coughs> were getting damaged. So it could be any business legal matter. We're, we're, we're there to help. Um, <clears throat> the health and safety library, that's actually the, um, the least used of the, uh, uh, sorry, the health and safety advice line is actually the least used of the advice lines. HSE professionals, um, think about if you are starting up, what your requirements are, what your initial responsibilities, when does the five staff and upwards rules kick in, what equipment you, you, you're issuing, what training you need to give staff prior to them starting, and have a look at, you know, you, you know have, you, have you looked at what your responsibilities are, and that's something, again, we can do on a one-to-one -one review, but if you've got a query, maybe a supplier's requested a particular, has a particular question on health and safety that you're not sure of the answer of, pick up the phone go and speak to the guys they can't review a whole document for you but if there's one question in there absolutely they will be able to go through that question and hopefully give you some guidance um the hr advice line is obviously the most used staff blessing and a curse if you've got them you need them it's fantastic but it can be a challenge can be a challenge um unlimited use management only if we do get employees pick up the phone if we politely direct them send them off to acas or citizens advice we're there for, for you as a business to, to protect you guys as a business. Um, so it can be the good stuff. So it can be maternity. You know, you've got you, you've got somebody going off on maternity. How do I manage that? What are their what are their rights? What when does it kick in? How how when can they when can they go off on maternity leave and the implications of that? Or it can be something more serious, going through disciplinary matters, grievance matters, um, internal disputes anything that you need or it could be guidance uh, with, with regards to the document library there's an awful lot of documentation in there you think oh I'm looking at it's over 400 hr documents where do i go what do i need to issue pick up the phone to the guys they're really really experienced guys and girls they'll be very very happy to support you um you also have the document library and that's accessed through through the ava website or alternatively um you can go, come straight to the uh, the login page um, if you do not have your login details, please go back to the AVA or reach out to myself. We can get those reissued to you, no problem at all. Um, inside the library, like I said, you've got over 400 HR documents. We try to cover the full life cycle of an employee. So recruitment, probation, potential disciplinary, redundancy, maternity, the, we try to cover the full life cycle of an employee. Um, it is it does have to be one size fits all because there's so many so many people visiting the library. But if you, I always say, I always say it covers about 80% of most business, most business needs. It's really good core housekeeping documents. Um, you've also got the legal library. Um, so that gives you checklists and documents that you may need to use. So documents for company law, debt recovery, 
GDPR, as you can see there, intellectual property documents, contract for services, subcontractor agreements. What I would say to you is make it the first point of call before you go and spend money. Before you go and spend anything, go and have a look and see if there's a relevant document that you can use. It's part of your membership. And what we're really trying to do here is make sure that you just think whenever you deal with any of these issues, whether it be HR, health and safety, legal or tax, I've got something with my AVA membership. Really, really important that that's uh, that you, know, you just think that if you've got to Google, we've lost you. Um, so hopefully we haven't done our jobs properly. Let's get you to remember that you've got something as part of your membership and use it. The health and safety library. I know I said the advice line is the least used. The health and safety document library is actually the most used. Um, so what have you got in there? Getting started in health and safety. There's guidance notes there. Um, developing a health and safety policy. Again, guidance notes. First aid and riddle re accident reporting. There's, there's guidance notes and documents. There's also risk assessments and audits. There's also fire safety information, uh, manual handling and, and lifting uh, documents in there as well. There's what I'd say to any any of any member, please just make us your, your first point of call. Uh, that's me. So I look after you guys. If you do have any questions, if you don't have your login details, if you'd like to book your one to one review, drop me an email. More than happy to go through and, and uh, book, you, book you in for your one to one reviews. More than happy to book you an advice line call if you've never done it before and you're a bit. Uh, not quite sure how to do it but what I'd say to you is in the first instance what we what we, we want you to do is take advantage of what you've got with the AVA with us pick up the phone and get in touch with us and and get in touch with us um, 